in the plot thickens. Out skied. Is this too much? Okay, this is the fit. It did take me quite a while to muster up the courage to go out there and do this, be this. The goal is really just to go to a coffee shop. I already have the video that I'm gonna work on, mostly edit. So this is really just a test run and seeing how I perform. Out skied. Also, if you haven't noticed, I'm filming in 4K. That'll be another thing to look out for to see if my editing equipment can handle that. But yeah, I just want to be present here. Now, I like this a lot more in theory than I did in person. This is the dress that is my um my profile photo. Yeah, let's uh do it. <laughs> We've made it. I picked a coffee shop a coffee shop a lot of the coffee shops ended up being closed at at three which i didn't know because i procrastinated up until like late two so that was cute and everything so i specifically waited until um what time did i wait bro i went to this one it's called <gasps> it's 15 15. okay good signs good signs good omens okay this one is called fiction coffee i don't know if you can see it I'm for real really been about to go in and edit just a little bit. I don't know, I'm kind of nervous, bro. Like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> a person. Great. My plan is to be chill, to be calm. But yes, we're going to go in there and be productive. Get out of my comfort zone, actually. Because I'm just I'm tired of being at the house all the time. It's getting depressive. <laughs> let's be brave and let's go. Okay, school. Yeah. The, the, the money is the motive. Fuck with the money, it get ugly as coyote. Okay, I'm reloaded. Better pull it if you told it. I buy a pound, break it down, and put it in a stogie. Swag. Hello, grandmother. Okay. And <laughs> the plot thickens. I definitely have an excuse as to why I left early. And I also have a real reason why I left early, but I'm gonna tell you both. As for the excuse, um, I no longer have that excuse because I just called to confirm. And uh, the excuse was that my grandmother, I wanted to check, well, my mom texted me to check on my grandmother. I was gonna go over there to check on her because she was sick. She has a cold, she's not doing great. I was going to go see her. Now, the real reason why I left, would you believe me if I told you it was because I saw a Department of Transportation truck pull up. So the way this um, coffee place was structured, it had the parking lot off to the side. It was a very small parking lot, very small coffee shop. I didn't expect it to be that small. To be honest, I probably wouldn't have driven 20 minutes to get there. I probably would have been way more realistic for a coffee shop that small. Hang on. I got a phone call. It looks... False. Hello? 
See, I don't like that. It made a sound. Like, what was that? Anyways, back on topic. I don't know if this is just my inner trauma that I'm working on having to get through post-college. I don't know. It was just something about not being able to see my car parked where it was parked. It just gave me anxiety that I was finna get a ticket. I was finna get towed. I literally and immediately left. Like, in the middle of my edit, closed the computer, packed all my stuff in my bag, and dipped. Now I'm not gonna hold you. By the time I actually did dip was the time my mom had sent me that text to go check on my grandma. Which I was willing to do. I had no problem with doing that. It just so happened to also be convenient when I got kind of freaked out. And the thing is that the uh, apartment of transportation truck wasn't there to even do anything. He like went to like electrical plugs and like opened a little box or whatever those things are. He had nothing to do with what I was terrified of him doing for. That combined with all the little stuff like I wasn't exactly pleased with the coffee shop that it was like it was kind of small the vibes were eh. it was very bro centric if that makes sense I didn't like the environment I was paranoid as flip and I genuinely didn't know what to do I think I already had it in my mind that I was doing too much so that any little thing that kind of went wrong really would have sent me off I wasn't in the right headspace to begin with. Even though that didn't go exactly as planned, I'm still very glad that I even took the time to do that. Like, what is the word? I don't leave the house, like at all. I have legitimately no reason to leave the comfort of my home, which is nice and convenient, but um, I lack the opportunity to have outside skills. And what do I mean by outside skills exactly? Well, I really blame COVID. It really has affected my perspective on adulting, if that makes sense. Like right when the pandemic hit was the time I would have been like legally allowed to go out and like socialize, go clubbing, normal things like that. COVID really took the joy part out of being able to do all that. And so I never really got into that. In fact, I never really got into anything. Now that I'm post-college and can kind of do what I want to do, I still don't because I don't know what to do. My social circle is limited to whoever I still talk to from college, which isn't a lot. It was more so a social experiment for myself to be able to get out there more, come across more people. Now, of course, I rejected any <laughs> social interactions. Even people staring at me was too much. Moral of the story is that I'm paranoid and traumatized about a bunch of things. But when it comes to being a part of my blow up journey, doing what I do, I can uh, only really do my best. I truly only have so many tools at my disposal. As of right now, I'm making my second breakfast. It was, it's literally lunch. I don't know why I'm capping. It's almost past lunch, like. Slightly frustrated that I really didn't even get to like upload. That was the big goal. An already almost finished video where I had a little bit of editing left to do. Couldn't do that. It literally got to me. But am I mad? No, cause I tried. And I'd rather try and fail rather than be too afraid to try and change anything at all and then just have myself to complain to because I'm not doing nothing to change it. This is okay. I, I realize the coffee thing didn't really work for me. I honestly, maybe I'll try more of a local place. I was originally gonna go to Starbucks but I thought that would be too basic and I thought I was gonna feel pressure to buy something even though I do have a Starbucks gift card. I really didn't want to buy anything. I didn't, the whole purpose of me staying home most of the time is so I don't spend money. You hear that? I don't like spending money. Especially when I know everything is purposely overpriced. That debt ceiling? Yeah, we're paying for that. <laughs> Why do you think these companies are making record profits? How do you think people are getting away with $8, $9 eggs? That's because we're paying the debt. It's coming out of our pockets. Now I just kind of want to chill. I'll probably get to eventually editing, finish editing the video, but I really need to just reset, relax. That was a lot. Also, if you're wondering about my grandma, she's fine. She, I actually called her and she told me that she's, she actually didn't want me to come over. She was like, yeah, don't, 
I don't even want you around the sickness guy. And I was like, cool, can I at least buy you food? She was like, actually, I'm at the grocery store now. I was actually gonna use that opportunity to wrap her gifts at her house because she has wrapping paper. Christmas wrapping paper, but wrapping paper nonetheless. But yeah, I just, my goals are very ambitious. I want to do six million things in one day and think, ah, productivity. But my relationship with productivity is very toxic coming from like like i'm really trying to reset from college college really did me dirty in my mindset and when i'm not doing anything in particular i struggle to relax when did my ass start looking fat like that her but yeah thanks for watching